Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I thought I would share with you a little bit of instruction on how I created these wings for my Halloween doll series. So each wing is different. I had made four dolls for Halloween and created a different pair of wings for each doll. And I took this sort of, it, it was from the bead and jewelry area of a craft store. I purchased this black wire. It's a thick gauge wire that holds its shape. And I took that and created a wing and then I would use the first wing that I bent into shape as a pattern for the second wing. And then I attached both to a button to hold it secure. And then I used this Tim Holtz paper, a different sheet for each one. It's the Tim Holtz Ideology paper stash from, I think it's 2017. It's their Halloween series and it's beautiful paper, very unique, antique -y looking, and I use it for a lot of stuff. So I cut a piece of paper that I, using the wing as a tra to trace the pattern onto the paper. I cut a piece for the inside of each wing and then I coated it with this Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. And what that does is it creates sort of a raised, uh, clear effect on the top of the paper to make it more of a piece of plastic or like rubbery material so that it's more durable. And then I center it, well pri prior to doing that I popped holes around the edges with this little hole punch. It's more of a jewelry hole punch for metal but I used it to pop these holes around the edges about a quarter inch apart. It's by Beadsmith and it's just a small hole punch. And the supplies that I used for this video will be in the description box below if you want to check those out along with the affiliate links. So I centered the piece of paper in the center of the wing and I stitched around the outside. So I used some just regular thread that I ran through my wax. I have some wax that I put on my thread before sewing and it just helps it from tangling, helps keep it from tangling so easily. And so the first hole I just kind of did a, a stitch around and then um, looped it through the end of the piece to hold it. And then I just did a little whip stitch around the edges. And when I got to a corner like this here, I would uh, just use the same hole to put a loop around each side. So once I stitched it all around, I added a magnet with some super glue to the back of the costume and then a magnet onto the button in the center of the wings. So they're able to be kind of adjusted. The wire allows me to, to adjust the shape. If I want to do a side view of the doll, I can bend the wings so you can see the wings sticking out. Or if I just want them to be in a different angle, sitting at a different angle. They can be adjusted for the most part because they're made with wire. And then the magnet allows me, of course, to remove them easily. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Here's some photos of these dolls. They're still available in the shop if you're interested and the link to that is in the description box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope everybody had a great Halloween. Thanks. Bye.